What's happening, TVC? Welcome to a series of monthly videos. This is the inaugural issue of videos designed just to connect TVC members and friends to what's happening at TVC. I'm so excited to let you know that we have begun our process of regathering members for in-person worship. Matter of fact, we began this process in April and we're continuing now. And I'm asking you to come on back. I see you out there. You're out shopping. You're out doing your other things in the city. Come on back to church. Listen, we're doing that at both locations and at all three services. We are still asking, though, that you come with your mask on, whether you are um, inoculated or not. We do invite you and encourage you to go ahead and get the vaccine. That's not mandatory, but get that come and let's be together. Let's worship together in our mass just for a one hour service. Let me let you know about some things that are happening at TBC Northeast right now. Matter of fact, we've made some improvements in our baptismal pool. We've put some nice tile there uh, to be more welcoming and inviting and to ex help us celebrate and be excited about those who are getting baptized, who trusted the Lord as their Lord and Savior and uh, believed in him, confessed him as Lord and Savior and believed that Jesus did live and he died and he rose from the dead. Beautiful baptismal pool. Getting a deck put on the, the north side of the building also at TVC Northwest to facilitate some of our outside services. Pandemic didn't teach us anything and taught us that, listen, we need to get outside a little more. And so we're going to have some fellowship things done there. And lastly, at TVC Northeast, well, not lastly, we have a, uh, a uh, covered parking area for about 10 spaces. This is a gift for the staff. Our staff really works hard. They are here during the day and these hot summers in Texas and San Antonio, we wanted to give them some release and some uh, way to relieve themselves and cover and not get a 110 hot car after work. So that's just a gift to our staff. Y'all help me celebrate the staff at TBC. And also we built a storage facility at TBC Northeast to house and store the things that we use seasonally or things we just need to store away for a while because we're losing that storage at TBC Northwest. Let's talk about TBC Northwest. Here's what's happening at TBC Northwest. Listen, the 5212 Heath Road location is under contract right now. Listen, I don't need you to cross your fingers nor your toes, but I do need you to pray that that process will go well, the sale will go through, the church that is now in there leasing it will uh, be able to secure the financing they need to purchase that building so we can move on with our other project. Right now, TVC Northwest, matter of fact, I have a flyer in my hand, is temporarily worshiping at One Kingdom Ministries. We are so thankful to Apostle John Davis. We are in prayer for him and the passing, recent passing of his father. But we are thankful that he and One Kingdom allowed us to come temporarily worship there. We are there, and the address is 3800 Northwest Loop 410, San Antonio, Texas, of course. And we are there at our regular time of worship, 9.30 a.m. Also, don't forget the campus we purchased right outside of Lackland. Matter of fact, for right now, we're going to call it TVC Lackland. That's getting ready. Permitting has come back. We are now in the bidding phases for subcontractors to come to do things like the electrical work and the plumbing work and the drywall and such, all of that. Pray for that process. I believe it may be a process that will take at least six or seven months. It could be shorter, it could be longer, but we'll see what the Lord is going to do. Hey, I just wanted to catch you up about what's really going on at TVC. Listen, we want to keep you connected, so look forward to these videos coming out monthly at the beginning of the month to let you know what's going on. Hey, can you stay prayerful? Keep reading your daily devotional book, God's Purpose for Our Life. Keep praying together. Keep tuning in to the prayer calls. Keep tuning in to Bible study and Sunday morning uh, worship. Come on out if you can, if you have been inoculated, taking the vaccine and worship with us. And even if you have not, we welcome you here but we are going to keep our mask on for our worship services. You've been a dynamic church during this time. I love you with the love of the Lord. Hey, hugs and kisses to you all. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.
Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Good morning, good afternoon to all of you, faith, family, friends, uh, to our community, to our neighbors. God bless you and thank you for tuning in to this time of prayer on this Monday, the 12th of July. Can you believe it? We are already past half this year being gone. God has been good, gracious, kind, merciful to all of us, and we ought to celebrate that very fact. Well, I tell you what, stay connected in prayer, and I know you will. I know you are, as I see that you've tuned in today. Remember to like and to share this on your page, to comment, respond to Christ is risen. Also, uh, why don't you give us your I am statement for today? I'm ready to lead us in prayer uh, today. Also, name at least one thing the Lord has done for you if you're on if you're on YouTube subscribe to what we are doing God bless you listen I'm going to get right into it Romans chapter 8 verse 26 is the scripture that we are reading from our God's purpose for your life book today that daily devotional I pray that you are walking in that with us we're going to be better we are we are better because we're walking together. We're reading some of the same things, praying some of the same prayers. I know you have a particular thing or things you may be praying about as it relates to you and yours and your community, but I know we're praying together and we're gonna be stronger because of it. We will read the scripture. We will do our model prayer. We will take off from the press starter in the book for today's assignment. And then today on Mondays, we pray for the sick and the vulnerable. And we want to lift them to the Lord today. You may know someone who is sick. You may know someone who is dealing with a chronic issue. Uh, you may know someone, or maybe you are the one, and you're praying for healing. Listen, I don't always pray for outcomes, but I just pray for God's strength to deal with whatever he allows to come our way. Strength, endurance, perse perseverance, patience, all of that. That's what God is calling us to do. Sometimes we have to suffer to show the world how to suffer. How to suffer and still praise God. How to suffer and still honor Him. How to suffer and still live a life pleasing unto Him. Come on, join me at Romans chapter 8, verse 26. And it reads as thus. Likewise, the Spirit also helps in our weaknesses. Hallelujah. For we do not know what we should pray for as we ought. Hallelujah. But the Spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Thank God for the Holy Spirit. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us, O oh God, our sins, our trespasses, as we forgive those who have sinned and trespassed against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, Oh God, we thank you for teaching us how to pray. We don't know what to pray for as we are. We don't have the mind to do it. We don't know what we should be praying for. We thank you for the Holy Spirit who intercedes for us. We know then that we will be connected and stay connected forevermore. Lord, as we come to you today, huh, we come again aided by the Holy Spirit, led by the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit even intervening for us. It is on our hearts oftentimes to pray as we pray for those who are sick, to pray for their holistic and complete healing. But Lord, you know more than we, we do. We submit to your will, your kingdom. This is your kingdom. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on this earth as it is in heaven. May we have more of a heavenly view and understanding of life. May we Lord, have a heavenly passion for what is going on there. We want to happen here. We want to be in your will. We want to be in your way. We want to be in your word. We want to be pleasing unto you, God. Yes, we pray for healing. And Lord, if that is your will, we accept it, we honor it, we celebrate it. But we still celebrate, Lord, even if you say no, or even if you say not right now, even if you say wait. 
We are praising you, the Lord, through the process. We're praying for someone right now, Lord, they're healing, yes. We're also praying not just for the outcome in that sense. We're praying for their perseverance. We're praying for their endurance. We're praying for their faith, that their faith would hold strong. We're praying for them to be courageous. We're praying for them to continue to trust you and believe in you and deposit their trust and faith in you. We are praying for them, Lord, to still be the light you've called them to be. We're praying for them to be the evangelists, the ministers you've called them to be. We are praying for the sick and those who may be suffering and those who may be in pain. Pray, Lord, that their influence would touch a doctor, a nurse, a health care worker. Praying that their example will be emboldening to others in the name of Jesus. Watch over them, Lord especially those that are your sons, your daughters, your saints, in the name of Jesus. I want to pray for those who take care of the sick, who watch over them, who pray for them on a daily basis, continue to strengthen them in their prayer life, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for those who are online with me now, who are praying with me now, who have committed this time every day, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, to pray for sick and governmental leaders and to pray for racial reconciliation and pray for financial matters. Lord, hear our prayer in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, saints, for hanging out with me in prayer. It means so much to have you here. I want you to know I am, I am encouraged. I am, I am inspired. God bless you for having a passion, compassion for those who may be in need, and some of you may be on the line who fit that. Thank you for tuning in on Facebook, YouTube, and the phone line. I want you to know I love you with the love of the Lord. Hey, hugs and kisses to you all. God bless you. See you on tomorrow if it is the Lord's will. Bye-bye.